What's happening hardscapers? I am here, just pulled over, found this retaining wall that's got some issues with it. So I thought I'd talk about what is going on here with this retaining wall. You're gonna notice some staining on the face of it as well as it's starting to lean a little here. I just wanna say before we get started on talking about this retaining wall, this is by no means trying to throw shade at anybody. This is kind of just bringing up things that are wrong with this retaining wall build to be able to prepare people, whoever watching this video, on how to properly construct a retaining wall. We don't even know who's at blame here, who, who didn't uh, follow the specifications or whether it was the engineer, whatever it might be. Could have been the contractor not following the specifications, could have been the engineer, whatever happened on their end. Uh, we just don't know, but just wanted to bring this to light to be able to talk about how important retaining walls are and how they can become uh, a huge problem moving forward in the future if not constructed properly. Let's get into it. And you can actually see as I'm walking past it, that white staining that is called efflorescence and that has to do with a big issue in terms of moisture so we've got to talk about why there's moisture behind this wall what might be causing it from being pushed over like this and this is really important because this is a really big retaining wall you'll see as i get further and further we're close to about five feet above grade with this retaining wall and it is holding up a parking lot as well as some homes so we also had to talk about the live loads the static loads that this retaining wall is helping to support so this white staining on this retaining wall it's called efflorescence it's a mineral salt based mineral that presents itself on the surface of concrete based products concrete manufactured products and as a result of moisture being present so the thing about this retaining wall is that there has to be moisture present on the opposite side for that efflorescence to be coming through the surface of this retaining wall which means there's likely not proper drainage on the other side of this retaining wall you can see how bad this efflorescence is here and how caked on there so basically a hydrostatic pressure on the other side of this wall is causing that water that moisture to wick out this efflorescence to the surface and what that means is that there is moisture present on the other side of this retaining wall and what that also means is that there's probably not proper drainage in this retaining wall and that water is just sitting there and having to wick through the retaining wall as opposed to going down and out through a drainage pipe. So my best bet is that on the other side of this retaining wall, there is not adequate drainage material in behind this retaining wall, like a three quarter inch crush clear stone that allows that water to go all the way through and out the retaining wall. Additionally, as I walk through this retaining wall, I noticed that there's no exfiltration pipe coming through the face of this wall. So that also makes me think whether or not there's even a drainage pipe on the other side of this retaining wall, collecting that water, allowing for that buildup of water in behind the retaining wall to escape, which is also why it's coming through the face of the wall. As we get to the end of this retaining wall, we'll be able to see whether or not there is some sort of drainage pipe or what's going on here. So as you can see, there's nothing here showing us that there's some sort of exfiltration pipe. This is where it should be that drainage pipe, as well as every 50 feet along this retaining wall, there should be some sort of exit for that water to come through the face of the wall, some sort of exfiltration pipe. So there's no drainage pipe here in this cross section. Now, doesn't necessarily mean there's not one here, but it should be somewhat present here for that water to come. This is the bottom of the slope as this slopes up here. Now that would be the nitpicking of this wall, but one thing that I do see good about this wall is that they do have at least one course of embedment here. So you can see that there is at least one course of that retaining wall block going all the way through here and stepping up as we go. Now you can see, especially with the fence on top, that this wall is really starting to bow outwards. So that hydrostatic pressure that's in behind this wall, evidenced by the efflorescence on the face of this wall, is really putting a lot of pressure on this wall and pushing it forwards here. You can really notice with this retaining wall at this point, that fence is really leaning. And if I put myself on this line, 
you can see that retaining wall is really starting to lean forward at this small of an area. I can only imagine what's gonna happen as that retaining wall gets higher and it's even starting to lean even at this moment. Load is something really important to consider when building a retaining wall. Now there's engineers out there that'll design a retaining wall for you. Manufacturers that have engineered drawings to go along with their products. But in the case of this wall, which would be a commercial project for this little subdivision here, holding up this parking lot, cars driving by, which are live load adding to the pressure being put on this retaining wall. In addition to that, these houses in behind, this would be have to be engineered and the installer would follow the engineered drawings to be able to install this wall. Retaining walls are just too important of projects to have a failure like this happen however many years down the road. It's going to be a big problem moving forward in the future to be able to hold up this area. And as this starts to fail, it's going to need to be replaced, which is going to be a costly mistake for this area. If you want to learn more about building retaining walls, we have a video on our channel that you can watch as well as a link in the description below that is an article to building retaining walls step by step, everything that you need to know about this. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. We'd love to hear from you as well as like this video, subscribe to our channel if you want more of this content coming to you from this channel. Thank you for watching.